welcome back to our channel, Gat Spooky Society. We are for the first time ever in Connorsville, Indiana at the Elmhurst Mansion. And we are really, really excited that we were invited to come here with a group that we've done some stuff with prior. And this place is absolutely stunning and how they've kept it is absolutely stunning. So it's time to get, get spooky. spooky. The historic Elmhurst Mansion is a stately home with a rich political history and a supposed curse. The original structure of the house was built in 1831 by Oliver Smith, who was a state representative and senator from Indiana. It consisted of four rooms, two stories in height, with immense chimneys at each end. Later it was sold to Caleb B. Smith, who was also a state representative from Indiana, the sixth U.S. Secretary of the Interior under Abraham Lincoln, and a U.S. Judge of the District of Indiana. In 1829, Caleb petitioned for membership of the Warren Masonic Lodge, and in the 1830s, he served as worshipful master of this lodge. He was one of the most eloquent and powerful stump speakers in the U.S. He died in Indianapolis in 1864. It is said that it was his dying wish to be buried on the grounds of the estate he so well loved. After Caleb, the property changed hands a couple of times and was later purchased in 1850 by his brother-in-law, Samuel Parker. In addition to being a lawyer, Parker was also a newspaper editor, president of the Whitewater Canal Company, and president of the Junction Railroad Company. He was prosecuting attorney for the Sixth Circuit Court in the 1830s. Parker also served in the U.S. State House of Representatives, State Senate, and the U.S. House of Representatives. He died suddenly on February 1st, 1859. And now for the curse. The History of Fayette County, published by Warner Beers and Company in 1885, tells of the curse of the Elm Farm. As a judge, Samuel Parker was harsh, unyielding as to points of law, and followed the strict letter of the statutes. Many times he publicly took the opportunity to deny the existence of God. James McIntosh was a young man, but a very successful lawyer. His part in the events which follow was minor, yet cannot be omitted from the story. It is related that a trial was being held in Judge Parker's court, at which a black witness was about to testify. When directed to stand and be sworn in, he made a request for a Bible. The lawyers who were examining him were Caleb Smith and James McIntosh. Judge Parker rose from his seat and berated the man and ridiculed his profession of religion. He demanded of him what a Bible meant to an ignorant man like him. The man finally stood before the judge and said, Your Honor, the absence of a Bible in your court has been explained by you. To me, the Bible means the great truth, the basis and foundation of all law, the inspired word of God directed to man regardless of color or class. This denial of God will bring upon you, sir, and all of your possessions and all who follow you sorrow, death, and destruction. From this day on, it was common to hear that Parker and his family and belongings were cursed, and so was Caleb and James. take you into the basement of the original house that you have to access from the outside and of which has a dirt floor. When Caleb Smith owned the farm in the mid-1850s, history states that the farm formed an important link to the Underground Railroad as Caleb was very anti-slavery. Caleb Smith died suddenly while holding court in Indianapolis January 7, 1864. He was first buried at Greenlawn Cemetery in Indianapolis. It is said that the Knights of the Golden Circle were after him and vowed that if they ever found him, they would kill him and set him on fire and drag him through the streets for everyone to see. And if he was dead, they would dig him up, set him on fire, and drag his burning corpse through the streets for all to see. This of course worried his wife Elizabeth, and she had a vault built for him in Crown Hill Cemetery, but he was never laid to rest there. There is no record of his burial spot in fear of him being desecrated. 
In 1977, there was a dig in the city cemetery to look for his remains. It was thought that he was buried in an unmarked grave next to his infant son. Upon opening the grave, it was discovered that it was the body of his brother-in-law, William Watton Jr. There is rumor, however, that he was buried in the basement of Elmhurst, where his sister-in-law, Susan Parker, still lived. Was he? feel sick. I have a really upset stomach. Can you turn that torch on again? Please? You said you were down here to talk to us. Can you turn it on again, please? Oh, good grief. How did I not step on that? Amber. Amber? Amber could be from Janice and Amber. Okay. You're giving us some names. Is there a Janice or an Amber down here? We come all the way down here and you're not going to talk to us? Well, 
Why does my head hurt so bad? You, you said earlier when we were down here that there was a presence and that we needed to say a prayer. We said a prayer. Will you talk to us, please? <laughs> Are you in the other room? All right, we're moving in that room. I feel the most pressure in that room. Thank you. Okay, is there anybody in here that wants to talk to us? I feel like you're in here. Can you touch one of those shiny balls, turn on one of these torches, talk into that flashlight. There you go. Hi. Thank you. Can you turn that off, please? Turn it off, please. Thank you. Are we speaking to a female? A um, woman, can you turn that on if it's a woman that we're talking to down here? It is? Uh, Cancer. Huh. Can you please turn that off? Turn that torch. Thank you. Did you have cancer? Please turn that torch on if you had cancer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Is that why my stomach is so queasy? You are sick? Yes. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I had cancer. I know what you went through. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Can you turn that off? I have a question for you. Can you turn the torch off, please? Thank you. Did you pass away from cancer? Is that how you passed away from the cancer? No? Did you pass away from complications from your treatments? Yeah. Yeah, if the cancer doesn't get you, the treatments will, right? Turn it off, please. Please turn it off. Did you live in this house, in this beautiful mansion? Did you maybe come, that was a little too delayed. Can you turn that off, please? Please turn it off. Thank you. Let's try this again. Did you live in this beautiful house at one point? <coughs> Did you come here and visit for events?
Maybe your husband was a Mason. Did you work here? Are you still, oh, you did, you worked here. Okay, thank you. Can you turn that off? I know it's hard to keep turning these things on and off for us. Did you work here in the 1800s? You did? That was bright. Thank you. Can you turn it off? Is there anything we could do that would make you happy? Are you ever, there is, that was bright. Can you turn that off? Thank you. Is there a message you would like us to give somebody? That was really a long time. Can you turn that off? Please turn it off. Thank you. I'm not sure what it is we can do to help you. You can talk into this device over here that Alexis is holding and let us know what it is. We try to try our best. Yeah? Okay. Can you turn it off? Franklin. Franklin. Okay. Can you turn that off? All the way. Was your last name Franklin? Evening. Evening. Yes, it is the evening. Was your last name Franklin? It was? Okay. We can try to look up and see if we can find any Franklins that worked here. If it's possible. Can you turn that off? Would that make you happy? We researched you and your last name. Did you work here in the evening? You did. Can you turn that off? What was the name of the boy that was buried here? They think. I'll have to ask Amy. Why did you think it was Franklin? No. Or was it the Caleb? Oh, Caleb is who they thought might be down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you turn that off, please? Did you help cook? Were you one of the cooks in the kitchen that helped make food for supper and dinner? 
You were? I bet you were a good cook. Can you turn that off? Turn it off. Think? No. Almost. Ring. 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 Please turn it off. Thank you. Is there something to do with a ring? Turn that off. The only thing I can think of is turn it off. All the way. The only thing I can think of is ringing the dinner bell. That's popped yeah, right into my head. Right. I need to turn on really bright if that's what you're talking about. You rang the dinner bell. You can do it. Really bright. Nope. What is there? Was it a ring that you wore on your finger? It was? Mm, that's bright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you turn it off? Remember how we got very early earlier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn it off, please. Did you lose your ring? Or misplace your ring? Did some, somebody steal your ring? They did? Hmm. I'm sorry. Or if it could be a wedding ring. Mm -hmm. Can you turn it off, please? All the way off. Was it your wedding? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to turn it all the way off. Don't read my mind. Thank you. Was it your wedding ring? It was. Can you turn it off, please? way please all the way do you feel like that ring is somewhere in this mansion or on this property yes okay huh. can you turn it off please Turn it off, please. Well, all the way, all the way. Okay, if we try to find it, will that make you happy if we try to find it? Or find some information on it? Will, can you see that? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll try. We'll see if we can do some research, okay? You're losing power, and so are we. You're losing energy. So we're going to say good night, okay? You turn that on one more time, bright as you can.
That's weird how it's hovering like mm -hmm. slightly on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's still. You don't see that very mm -hmm. often. Yeah. Oh, trying. You're trying to turn it on. Hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Franklin. Mrs. Franklin. We'll see what we can do. Thank you for talking to us. That's like Morse code. Hey lovelies, that wraps up another episode of the Got Spooky Society here in Connersville, Indiana at the Elmhurst Mansion. It's absolutely beautiful. So glad that we were invited to come here. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Please hit that thumbs up, smash that subs subscribe button, comment. Anything you do helps our channel for free. And until next time, stay, stay spooky. spooky.